In this video, I'm going to use kinematics formula that we prove in the flip classroom video to show that the value of gravitational constant and it should be 9.8. Let's see whether our equations gives us 9.8. We're going to use the data coming from this experiment. All right. So we're going to use Newton's second law, F equal to MA. All right. So MA is equal to F net. So you can write F net is delta P over delta T. All right. So then A, then A is equal to delta P over delta T over M. So from the experiment, from this experiment, we know a few things. What do we know? We know the momentum. Momentum is 31.5, uh, 31.5. And we know the time, 0.64. And we know the mass, mass of this rock, how much? 5 kilogram. So then acceleration would be 9.8 if you do the math. And the tennis ball going to give us the same thing if you do it. So F is equal to m a so then what is f delta p over delta t is equal to m a so then what is this delta p over delta t m is equal to a a should be replaced by g because that's what we are trying to find so g is delta p is what is the delta p it's zero is final momentum is 0.315 kilogram meter per second 2.315 time takes it takes same time and the mass of the tennis ball tennis ball is 0 0.05 kilogram 0 0.05 kilogram so g is 9.8 meter per second square so that's proved that our equation was right and this equation we can use to show the gravitational constant using the data coming from this experiment <laughs> to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.